You've seen how using momentum can speed up gradient descent. There's another algorithm called RMS prop, which stands for root mean square prop. They can also speed up gradient descent. Let's see how it works. Recall our example from before that if you implement gradient descent, you can end up with huge oscillations in the vertical direction, even whilst trying to make progress in the horizontal direction. In order to provide intuition for this example, let's say that the vertical axis is the parameter b and the horizontal axis is the parameter w. Then really it could be w1 and w2 or some of the setting parameters. Let's name this b and w for the sake of intuition. And so you want to slow down the learning in the B direction or in the vertical direction um, and speed up learning, or at least not slow it down in the horizontal direction. So this is what the RMS prop algorithm does to accomplish this. On iteration T, it will compute as usual the derivative dW dB on the current mini batch. So I was going to keep this um, exponentially weighted average. Um, instead of VDW, I'm going to use new notation SDW. So SDW is equal to beta times the previous value plus 1 minus beta times DW squared. I sometimes write this DW star star 2 to denote the exponentiation. I just write this as DW squared. So for clarity, this squaring operation is an element wise. Um, squaring operation. So what this is doing is really keeping an exponentially weighted average of the squares of the derivatives. And similarly, we also have sdb equals beta sdb plus 1 minus beta db squared. And again, the squaring is an element-wise operation. Next, RMS prop then updates the parameters as follows. w gets updated as w minus the learning rate, and whereas previously we had um, alpha times dw, now it's dw divided by square root of s dw, and b gets updated as b minus the learning rate times, instead of just a gradient, this is also divided by, now divided by s db. So let's gain some intuition about how this works. Recall that in the horizontal direction, or in this example, in the W direction, we want learning to go pretty fast, whereas in the vertical direction, or in this example, in the B direction, we want to slow down or to damp out the oscillations in the vertical direction. So with these terms, SDW and SDB, what we're hoping is that SDW will be relatively small, so that here we're dividing by a relatively small number, whereas SDB would be relatively large. So that here we're dividing by a relatively large number in order to slow down the updates in the vertical direction. And indeed, if you look at the derivatives, these derivatives are much larger in the vertical direction than in the horizontal direction. So you know, the slope is very large in the B direction. Right? So with derivatives like this, um, this is a very large DB and a relatively small DW because the function is sloped much more steeply in the vertical direction that is in the B direction um, than in the W direction, than in the horizontal direction. And so dB squared will be relatively large, so SDB will be relatively large, whereas compared to that, DW will be smaller, or DW squared will be smaller, and so SDW will be smaller. So the net effect of this is that your updates in the vertical direction are divided by a much larger number, and so that helps damp out the oscillations, whereas the updates in the horizontal direction are divided by a smaller number. So the net impact of using RMS prop is that your updates will end up you know, looking more like this. Right? That your updates in the um, vertical direction get damped out, but then horizontal direction, it can keep going. And one effect of this is also that you could therefore use a larger learning rate alpha and get faster learning without it diverging in the vertical direction.
Now, just for the sake of clarity, I've been calling the vertical and horizontal directions B and W, just to illustrate this. In practice, you're in a very high dimensional space of parameters. So maybe the vertical um, dimensions we're trying to adapt the oscillations is some set of parameters, W1, W2, W17, and the horizontal dimensions might be W3, W4, you know, and so on, right? And so the separation is a W and B is just for illustration. In practice, DW is a very high dimensional parameter vector. DB is also a very high dimensional parameter vector. But the intuition is that in dimensions where you're getting these oscillations, you end up computing a larger sum or weighted average for these squares of derivatives. And so you end up damping out the directions in which there are these oscillations. So that's RMS prop. And it stands for root mean squared because uh, root mean squared prop because here you're squaring the derivatives and then you take the square root here at the end. So finally, just a couple last details on this algorithm before we move on. In the next video, we're actually going to combine RMS prop together with momentum. So rather than using the hyperparameter beta, which we had used for momentum, I'm going to call this hyperparameter beta 2 just to not clash, you know, the same hyperparameter for both momentum and for RMS prop. And also to make sure that your algorithm uh, doesn't divide by zero. You know, what if square root of SDW, right, is very close to zero, then this thing could blow up just to ensure numerical stability. When you implement this in practice, you add a very, very small epsilon to the denominator. Doesn't really matter what epsilon is. You use 10 to the negative 8 would be a reasonable default, but this just ensures slightly greater numerical stability than, you know, for numerical round off or whatever reason that you don't end up dividing by a very small number. So that's RMS prop. And similar to momentum has the effects of damping out the oscillations in um, gradient descent, in meaning bash gradient descent, and allowing you to maybe use a larger learning rate alpha um, and certainly speeding up the learning speed of your algorithm. So now we know how to implement RMS prop, and this will be another way for you to speed up your learning algorithm. Um, one fun fact about RMS prop, it was actually first proposed not in an academic research paper, but in a Coursera course that Jeff Hinton had taught on Coursera many years ago. Uh, I guess Coursera wasn't intended to be a platform for dissemination of novel academic research, but it worked out pretty well in that case. It was really from the Coursera course that RMS prop started to become widely known and it really took off. We've talked about momentum, we've talked about RMS prop. It turns out that if you put them together, you can get an even better optimization algorithm. Let's talk about that in the next video. <laughs> ဒါပေမဆိုအားလုံးနဲ့ပြည့်ပြပြီးထင်ပါတယ်လို့အလို့ဆိုတော့အလဲဆိုတယ်ဒီမှာမောင်းလင်းပရန်ထုတ်တိ
तो बाटी का ना हर जने जाऊँ ना तो ने प्योर दो आले बोलो ऐसे भी था मेरा भी बाटी का भी जाए तो आप इतने इतने नाइन वर्ष में मैंने मैंने ली लाज देने बोलो मैंने दी आले मैंने तो आज देने सब भी देने तो आज देने है मैं तो मेरे दी जाका हर जने मजा है ना ने स्लो चीजे� Aku ada di Madrid, kami dah nak buat balas di dua square itu dengan ni apa, no? Ini ane pada video, kalau di kalau di zero division macam ni, anu ni di soalan ni ada sebab jangan ni tu ni pihau tu hari bodoh, dari tu sebab dia kami balas itu. Aku ada di mana Brian nak ujar so ini apa, no? Di hari di dua jam ni pihau apa lagi apa, no? Di hari di hari kuna di square itu sebab tu kuna ni malam ni soalan pihau tu hari apa, no? Kalau lepas hari lepas hari pun ni apa, no? Di hari dimensi ni ni aje ni nasi dia tu apa, no? Tak kulit ni apa, no? Pihau tu hari ni pihau tu hari apa, no? Mesti dia lewa. Eksu ane memang sih ni mak tu lo, ada cerita puno. Alku ada lima so ini, dua aku nak alis jodoh lo betul. Nas pi alok cina hari jodoh hari, no alam ibu lo lo ini bau mulai cerita hari tu. Pung so 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 cerita hari puno. Ati se udah di mata mandi gaya baca aku dah wenci malai ni lo. Oh, ayo mata mandi gaya ti cina di dalam formula apa macam mana? Hmm, alah kan mata mandi gaya formula apa? Tu ya, puna intuisi ni boleh saya guna hari puno. Formula ni aku mahu si bala bilam nasi alam mula 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 kau. Jika Baca bodoh, hari bodoh, hari bodoh, mesti dengan hari bodoh. Ada kau dengan siapa mana? Okay, ba. Eh, umah, aku pizza caj caj mana? Pizza, pizza semua macam ni. Pizza itu sahaja, lecet pun pizza mana? Takku, nakku, tahu siapa semua mana? Ada aku tu ah. Di pizza one, pizza two, pizza three, so dua punya yang sama tu. Di takut dia boleh selai takut dah sah dah macam ni dah di lusa ni yang sama tu yang mana. Tapi macam aku buat di pizza three way makan tu, makan tu kacau aku buat cheese way mana. Pizza cheese way macam ni, pizza cheese two way macam tu. Pizza saya kah, dah ambil dah ni pelar aku suka macam tu. Dah ambil dah ni pelar so di dah ambil dah ni sih. Aku buat pelau sih pizza. Di es time ini berapa kau makan kau boleh ambil esok aku tu tuat kau tu ya bah tuat kau tu ya esok esok itu apa sahaja esok apa bahasa sahaja esok aku satu orang aja lah satu orang bahasa India satu orang ni India ni ni sahaja esok ni aku tu aku ni ni awa paywa lah bah di dia makan kau tu di pizza di tu siapa aku pizza di tu siapa esok aku tu meja lah bah no tu apa tu tu apa esok so aku tu di mana tu esok India ka kau boleh ambil apa tapi ada pizza orang ye Ini ya D1, sorry, terdaya kita D1, D2, D3 semua. Agar tu, oh, tinggal ni ni dua macam ni, tu kan area dua macam apa pun, no, pi by four D1 square. Ada macam pi by four D2 square, pi by four D3 square D. Agar tu semua ni tiga aji pita, E square ni dua apa, tu no. Kalau pi by four ni alang ku cerai de. Hello, cerita tu sih nak buat macam ni. D1 square plus D2 square plus D3 square supaya macam ni. Ayat kau di S square. Kau ada S square tu sih nak kaca lor. Square tu or D1 square plus D2 square plus D3 square supaya macam ni. So kita tu apa? Kau apa kita ada sih lor? Room mean square kita ada. Nampak room mean square baca baca tuan 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 sah di bawah ni tu tu ni. Kau Kubu ya, mungkin ni ada tanda ni. Every person ni tu kubu dia cara. Kau yang dah, dah umur mana tu kubu ni? Umur saya sih kau ada cheese tu. Cheese pada sih kau ada wali mana? Pada tu, di kubu pak na di sini mana? Ada apa pak? Kalau di kau ngah, pak pun ni ada tu ada cheese ni betul lah ya. Jadi kau ada alu ni ni ada. โอ้ภาษาโกจูยังไม่ใช่ไหมพอดีไหมถ้าเอสอาจจะเป็นดีทีเอสทีเอไหมที่คนนี้เรียกว่าหนึ่งสองสามสี่สี่สี่สี่ส
ဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာဟိုတိုလာတာ
ไอ้ตัวไอ้ทีเทเวอร์ไอ้ทีเทเวอร์เนี่ยซ้ายสวยเนเรกางโกทุกท่านสอรี่ตามบทคู่คู่ชื่อเนี่ยกางโกทุก
db equals zero. And then on iteration t, you would compute the derivatives, compute dw db using current mini batch. So usually you do this with mini batch gradient descent. And then you do the momentum exponentially weighted average. So VDW equals beta, but now I'm going to call this beta 1 to distinguish it from the hyperparameter beta 2 we'll use um, for the RMS portion of this. So this is uh, exactly what we had when we're implementing momentum, except that I've now called the hyperparameter beta 1 instead of beta. And similarly, you have um, VDB as follows. It's 1 minus beta 1 times DB. And then you do the RMS prop like update as well. So now you have a different hyperparameter beta 2. That's 1 minus beta 2. DW squared. Again, the squaring there is element y squaring of your derivatives DW. And then SDB is equal to this plus 1 minus beta 2 times db. So this is the momentum-like update with hyperparameter beta 1, and this is the RMS prop-like update with hyperparameter beta 2. In the typical implementation of Adam, um, you do implement bias correction. So you're going to have v corrected. Corrected means after bias correction. DW equals V, DW divided by 1 minus beta 1 to the power of T, if you've done T iterations. And similarly, V, DB corrected equals V, DB divided by 1 minus beta 1 to the power of T. And then similarly, you implement this um, bias correction on S as well. So that's S dW divided by 1 minus beta 2 to the T and S dB corrected um, equals S dB divided by 1 minus beta 2 to the T. Finally, you perform the update. So W gets updated as W minus alpha times. So if we're just implementing momentum, you use V dw, or maybe vdw corrected, but now we add in the RMS prop portion of this, so we're also going to divide by square root of s dw corrected plus epsilon, and similarly b gets updated as a similar formula, vdb corrected divided by square root s corrected db plus epsilon. And so this algorithm combines the effect of gradient descent with momentum together with gradient descent with RMS prop. And this is a um, commonly used learning algorithm that is proven to be very effective for many different neural networks with a very wide variety of architectures. So this algorithm has a number of hyperparameters. The learning rate hyperparameter alpha is still important and usually needs to be tuned. So you just have to try a range of values and see what works. A common choice, really the default choice for beta 1 is 0 0.9. So this is the moving average, weight and average of uh, dw, right? This is the momentum light term. The um, hyperparameter for beta 2, the authors of the Adam paper, inventors the Adam algorithm recommend 0 0.999. If this is computing the moving weight and average of dw squared, uh, as well as db squared. And then epsilon, the choice of epsilon doesn't matter very much, but the authors of the Adam paper recommended 10 to the minus 8, but uh, this parameter, you really don't need to set it, and it doesn't affect performance much at all. But when implementing Adam, what people usually do is just use the default values of beta 1 and beta 2, uh, as well as epsilon. I don't think anyone ever really tunes epsilon. And then try a range of values of alpha to see what works best. You can also tune beta 1 and beta 2, but it's not done that often um, among the practitioners as I know. So where does the term Adam come from? Adam stands for adaptive moment 
estimation. So beta 1 is computing the mean of the derivatives. This is called the first moment. And beta 2 is used to compute uh, exponential weight average of the squares. And that's called the second moment. So that gives rise to the name adaptive moment estimation. But everyone just calls it the Adam optimization algorithm. And by the way, one of my uh, long-term friends and collaborators is called Adam Coates. As far as I know, this algorithm doesn't have anything to do with him, except for the fact that I think he uses it sometimes. But sometimes I get asked that question, so uh, just in case you're wondering. So that's it for the Adam optimization algorithm. With it, I think you really train your neural networks much more quickly. But before we wrap up for this week, let's keep talking about hyperparameter tuning um, as well as gain some more intuitions about what the optimization problem for neural networks looks like. In the next video, we'll talk about learning rate decay. Okay, ba. Okay, dale o jaro. Let's go diha. Ya ino a tayo discussion wala tayo masyup. No, let's niya nebo na. Pero duro tayo masyup. Di masuwan diha liya di mali Brian na uya suwan ko tiro yare po na di masuwan di momenta na di am 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 as prof ko do pa ngas do bawli po na na may jaro adaptive moment estimation ulo ko le po na alam ni tiro yare po. Di masuwan diyo kana si may suwan di formula liya let's go kana. Momenta na formula liya na si di ha momenta na formula po na awga ha suwan di ha kana am as formula po na. Jadi saya tu ramah, buat malu ni malu lagi yang show jadi malu awal tu, di malu tu jiru jiru aje, tu mesti jadi ni awal tu. Kalau ada dia bias korrektor tu, ada tu lelaki ada kuma cik dah lepo, no bias korrektor ni betul betul. Tu jauh lalu jauh, tu jauh malu jauh tu jauh lepo, no ini lecah jauh, dah kumpas tu ramah. Hei, ni di tu ya di adam, abdi malu sih malu dia tu tunggu tunggu dah lepo, no dia lalu lepo jauh jauh awal tu, di malu korrektor tu jiru jiru aje, jauh lepo, no dan saya tu ramah, dia lalu lepo, ada tu dah pernah bawa ni lepo jauh lepo, no. Tuan di ladi W update lalu hari ambil lalu update lalu lepo, na pemain so termiu termiu di update lalu dia di pemain dalam so termiu lalu dia di di RMS mah termiu lalu lepo, na di di kuat bau na api terus so update lalu lepo sudah jangan itu tiga hari lalu tiga hari pun mana hari hari lepo, na dah jam ni nak kau sedih mana yang mahu trade dulu yang ini kamu cakap mana mahu lo, tuan dah kuat dua di dah kuat lepas itu hari hari lepo, na di sana hari hari Eh, aku hoi yang bagai aku tak jodoh dah ruat dan bau dan nyoli buat, no di haliri alam atau di sosial media lah haliri buat. Di bidang awan sampai beli sosial lalu haliri buat, no bidang dua orang sampai beli sosial lalu haliri buat, no di hari aku problem next sign ni buat, no yang itu haliri atau yang ruat dan aku ni kalau ni makau malah cincin lain ni buat, no dah ada cakap orang lain juga malah itu. Aku ada kali lain ni barang bidang buat, no di hari lama aku kali ame, lama ini mesti mana kali ame ini tu orang halu alat ni ni buat, no malah tu orang lecet orang haliri buat. Di dalam mereka belum belum orang kau malah sebab haliri tu lalu dia ni haliri buat, no dari tu saya. Di sini alat bahagian itu memilih so selalu beli alat sebab bahagian itu. Di hari itu cara itu tuai, bukan? Oh di hari Brian no bukan? Dua di batch nama lain dengan apa terasa di hari itu, bukan? Hobi. Kau tahu orang yang terjauh di nasi lagu tu di hari itu le? Hmm, kalau kau na alat sebab aku beli alat nasi lagu. Ah, kau sih. Kau tahu orang lelaki orang cina le, bukan? Kau sih lelaki cina bukan? Kalau di hari di ni ada di ada ni ada di tahun tu, bukan? Alat sebab ini mesti jemaah itu. Jadi hari ini adalah sebab terlalu banyak orang. Mana malu ni malu itu pada diskusi lu kali hari itu. Dia kau dah kena mera di miskoe hari di di kali bai. Bukan mesti dia kaji nak balai lu. Hari ini ni ni nak bukan mesti dia mah. Jadi kau tu jadi kau di jangan ni jadi macam mana tu di kalau cina haga kau dah le itu beri ni ni di hari itu dia salah bukan. Ni ni sana lu kau lu jangan ni awak yau cina bukan. Mana lu yau amlu lu lu jauh macam ni ni shine shine. Tapi ni ni tu mau hari bukan. Di pemain kredit yang ada ilmu cikgu, dia juga nak demi satu orang. Dia memang mana tahu dia dia mana belum tulen. Namun nak demi satu orang, dia tahu tahu yang dia nak optimize tu dia hal ini. Bukan dia optimize yang apa dia ini. Bukan dia ini orang dia jam ni mana bukan dia ada. Nak kau ada kau ada ini kita ni intuisi ni bagi jenis kita tu aku bawa. Kalau kau sih ni meja bawa. Kita ni jalan ni malu. Kau beli apa? Kau beli apa? Kau ada teori lah beri. Tengok tengok tangan kau kain macam tu. Ikan tu ada yang sopi way. Kita cakap apa? Jadi nak aku alas alah jawab dia. Formula yang kau nak masuk ni, orang ni tu intuition ni orang ni macam ni, bukan? Di formula itu lawa ni, kalau kau tak kena jawab tu lawa ni, lawa itu beli ni, bukan? Lawa ni aku nak kau tak jawab awal ni, di one mile ni beli dah soal. Dua ten persen ni dia pun dah jual. Dua point nine soal. Dua persen tu yang wage kau dia pun dah jual hari, bukan? Orang ni macam ni sih dia pun ni itu beli ni change ni, lawa ada. Ni ada kuku lah, ni dia kaji interview dia baca, bukan? Kau hari ni ngah optimize dia, kuku ngah dia ni itu beli beli soal. Kau tak mesti lawa ni dia kaji. Kau pergi kaji sih ni, bukan? Anu orang ni mari. Kau mula ni kau cakap jadi dia ambil. Lalu cakap dia ambil. Okay. Di sana pada yang ambil naal ni. Di kuali ni pada yang ambil naal. Elu mula dia orang ni. Ada orang itu kau ni ada orang itu boleh ni. Orang dia ni ada orang ni. Alat ceri kami dalam tu. Alat itu dia tu alat cari. Kau buat orang ni. Apa yang dia ni? Si ada ni ada floor kerana suka ada kalau di hari apa beri si di dalam. Kau tu yang ini kau tu dia ramal logo. Tapi macam tu hal ini. Di tengah orang ni nama tu dia baca tu ni belum ni. 
ဟာမိမာဝါညမဝါဘာပြန်အောင်စုံးလို့တစ်ချက်ပြအာဟာဟာဘီနာအလက်အောင်စုံးလို့သွားတယ်မင်းတော့ဒီဘက်နောက်မ